From its founding in 753 BC, the Roman Empire was shaped by many great leaders. These generals expanded the empire's borders and demonstrated exceptional military strategy, leadership, and bravery. The Romans undertook land grab on a huge scale, their successes down not only to the political capabilities of their elite, but to their military might and the strategic ability of their generals. Number 10, Marcus Vipsanius Agrippa, a close friend and ally of Emperor Augustus. Agrippa and Octavian fought together in many land and sea battles right across the empire, including Gaul and Germania. Agrippa played a pivotal role in the naval battle of Actium, which secured Augustus's power and marked the end of the Roman Republic. When Augustus came into power, Agrippa worked closely with the emperor, repairing streets and buildings, and organizing festivals for Rome's inhabitants to enjoy. Number 9. Trajan Trajan expanded the Roman Empire to its greatest territorial extent as a general and later an emperor. His conquest of Dacia and his campaigns in the east showcased his exceptional military acumen and brought immense wealth to Rome. The kingdom of Dacia was absorbed into the empire. However, to prevent any further disruptions, Dacia was emptied of over half a million people and replaced by Roman colonists, making it the land of the Romans or modern-day Romania. Number 8. Scipio Africanus Scipio's finest hour, however, came during the Battle of Zama in North Africa in 202 BC, where he finally managed to defeat Hannibal himself. The Carthaginian commander used enraged war elephants in an attempt to trample Scipio's marauding troops. Still, the Roman general simply ordered his men to open ranks, allowing the beast to stampede through without causing significant casualties. Number 7. Pompey the Great he first entered the political scene by raising troops to help Sulla liberate Rome from the Marians in 83 BC. A military and political leader, Pompey's campaigns in the east, including defeating Mithridates and annexing Syria, significantly expanded Roman influence. Pompey later formed the first triumvirate along with Julius Caesar and Crassus, marrying Caesar's daughter Julia to cement the alliance. Number 6. Lucius Cornelius Sulla Despite being born into poverty, Sulla achieved rank within the Roman army and became an essential cog in the winning of the Jugurthine War. Sulla's march on Rome and subsequent dictatorship demonstrated his formidable command over his legions and his influence on Roman politics. In 82 BC, Sulla marched on Rome a second time, his success resulting in the Senate appointing him dictator, bringing with it near limitless power. Number 5. Gaius Marius Known for his military reforms, Marius transformed the Roman army into a more professional force. Marius is attributed with a number of actions that had significant influence on the transformation of the Roman civilization from republic to empire. He allowed non-landed Romans to join the army. At the same time, he changed the law so that soldiers had to carry their equipment, which resulted in military success. Notoriously, he defeated the Teutones as they advanced into Italy, ambushing the hordes on the edge of the Alps and killing a reputed 100,000 invaders. Number 4. Constantine the Great Not only a great general, but also the first Christian emperor, but also the founder of Constantinople, the empire's new capital. Constantine's victory at the Battle of Milvian Bridge and his subsequent founding of Constantinople were pivotal in shaping the future of the Roman Empire. When he triumphed at Milvian Bridge, Christianity became the primary religion of the empire. Number 3. Julius Caesar Perhaps one of the most famous Romans. Caesar's conquest of Gaul and his pivotal role in the Roman Civil War showcased his extraordinary military genius and ambition. After his conquest of Gaul, which extended Rome's territory to the English Channel and the Rhine, he became the first Roman general to cross both when he built a bridge across the Rhine and conducted the first invasion of Britain. As dictator in Rome, Caesar overhauled the calendar, started constructing a basilica, and issued a new coinage with his head on it. Number 2. Belisarius Serving under Emperor Justinian I, Belisarius was instrumental in the reconquest of much of the Western Roman Empire. He led expeditions to overthrow the Vandals in North Africa and regain Sicily and Italy from the Ostrogoths, reconquering Rome. His tactical brilliance and loyalty made him one of Rome's greatest military minds. And finally, number one, Nero Claudius Drusus. Rome was robbed of one of its finest generals when Drusus died a month after falling from his horse while attempting to push into Germany. 
He was the first Roman general to mount successful campaigns east of the Rhine, pushing his troops as far as the Weser and Elba rivers. The Sicambri, Batavi, Frisi, and Chatti tribes were all subjugated by his army in 11 BC, and a year later, he defeated the Matiachi, Marcomanni, and Cherushi tribes. Do you agree with my list? Tell me in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more historical content. Until next time.